You gotta know what you wanna do. You gotta dedicate yourself to it. You gotta wake up thinking about it. Go to work. Ridgeside K9, thanks for tuning in for a short episode while we are working on a place command with a very high drive Labrador. This Labrador was here for a short board and train and we are using a marker word of yes in lieu of the clicker indoor tone at the specific request of the owners. In this short behavior, we're working on shaping and teaching the dog stay in the crate, wait, we mark, the dog comes back out of the crate. We're using both a marker word in lieu of the clicker as well as an e-collar. We're using operant and classical conditioning to teach a behavior. You'll see the drive, you'll see the excitement in the dog still. We build motivation. We encourage enthusiasm. We keep the dogs in a high state of drive while doing a task. If anything you see in this video will help you with your dog or your daily activity with your dog, such as jump into the car and wait, go into your crate and wait, go into the kennel and wait, lay here on a placemat or a place pad in the house and wait. Give us a call today. We would love to help you, your dog, and your relationship. And right here, every time this dog releases, it's on me saying the word yes, and then I give them some food. Remember on the release, they can fly back to you. They should fly back to you. They should almost crash into you to get that reward. Um, once you click, once you hit a tone, once you give a marker word, yes, good, whatever it is that you desire to use, the dog needs to come back to you with passion and enthusiasm. Demand perfection during training. So if you want him to keep his paws on the actual kennel mat itself, I don't want him, you know, one paw out. I want everything on the kennel pad. That's the behavior that we mark. Very, very important. And he's got to go back in on his own. This is a very high drive, very, very strong Labrador, a, a Labrador that any odor specialist in the world would want to train. This dog lives to eat. And I mean, he absorbs food and he basically attacks food. So I know some people are opposed to e-collars. I just need to you know, say, keep an open mind, understand the science, understand the conditioning, understand what actually goes into it. It's not a hammer. It's not a, a you know, smack down tool. It's a tool to help guide shape. E-collar combined with a clicker and you can do amazing things with a dog. Uh, you can call it Nipopo. Uh, give, you know, Bart Ballone and Michael Ballone a big shout out. They are the best marketers and branding of the system, but it is just basic psychology. So if you understand classic and operant conditioning, you can do amazing things. You can see by the kennel here, you have a Dogo Argentino, a pit bull, an incredibly high drive Labrador, a Doberman puppy, a Malinois. There's another dog you can't see. We're not working with, you know, low drive, low end dogs here. Uh, we train a certain way because we have a limited time to imprint desired behaviors on dogs that are typically very high drive, very go, go, go. And they're not coming here because they're fantastic. They're coming here because they need a little bit of help, a little bit of shaping. So Rich Side Canine, anything you see here could help you with your dog. Please give us a call.